I know it always brings headaches whenever we get a lot of rain, but mm -hmm. boy, did we need it. And it's such a welcome sight, especially in our mountains. Yeah, on balance, this is by far much more beneficial than it has been harmful. We did have some minor flooding in the South Bay this morning. They've seen a few potential issues with those debris flows in the mountains, but overall just soaking the landscape is exactly what we need. And some more showers in the forecast through tonight and even tomorrow, a few pop up showers possible, mainly over in the parts of the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley. And then we dry out. High temperatures, though, are going to remain on the cool side through the duration of the seven day forecast and some chilly nighttime temperatures in store for us as well. Right now we still have some scattered showers. It is not nearly as widespread or as intense as what we had this morning but it's still enough to wet down the roads as we make our way through the Tuesday evening rush. Some of that rain crossing over the bay into the Berkeley Hills. We do have some more showers over Marin County, some showers over San Francisco and South San Francisco as well, and more activity lining up over the Pacific. that's going to keep rolling in from the west as we head through this evening. So it is not going to rain everywhere all the time, but just the placement of the showers that are out there at right now, including some that are making their way through the Delta, just tends to focus the rain chances on some of the more densely populated parts of the Bay Area. Santa Clara Valley is getting a chance to dry out. If you had some of the heavier rains so far, that's this system adding up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then a lot of that rain survived over the Santa Cruz Mountains into the Santa Clara Valley, about an inch and a half of rain total for San Jose. But it's going to become more of a scattered pattern as we head through the rest of tonight. The showers become more mist than hit, especially after midnight. Can't rule out the possibility of a shower to start the day Wednesday. Same thing as we go towards lunchtime, but they are going to be few and far between, not adding up a whole lot more on top of what we've already received. In terms of additional snowfall, in the high Sierra, anywhere from two to well, potentially close to 12 inches of additional snowfall. The winter storm warning in effect is in effect until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Travel on both I-80 and US-50 strongly discouraged. But once those showers shut down tomorrow, that pretty much does it for the rain chances. There is an outside chance with some passing clouds Saturday, Sunday, and Monday that maybe a little bit of moisture might fall out of those clouds, but it's a rain chance in the 10 to 20% range, which is not enough confidence to put any rain icons in the seven day forecast. High temperatures today were cool and it was breezy out there as well. Low to mid 50s for everybody, and we're starting to back down with those current temperatures right now. A mix of a couple of 40s, but mostly low 50s. We'll drop down to the 40s for most of the Bay Area tonight. Low to mid 40s by early tomorrow morning. The North Bay Valley is, though, tumbling all the way down to the mid to upper 30s. And then high temperatures tomorrow, good 8 to 12 degrees below normal. Almost all of us in the mid to upper 50s, the warmest spots around 60 degrees, the cool spots along the coast only reaching the low to mid 50s once again. Similar temperatures Thursday and Friday, a little bit of a warm up for inland parts of the Bay Area. The warmest days will be over the weekend, looking pretty nice Saturday and Sunday. Some passing clouds, that outside chance of a shower does not have us too concerned at this point. With temperatures, well, trying to get up within about 5 degrees of what's normal for this time of year, but low to mid 60s, the best we're going to do for most of us with that dry weather continuing into early next week.